Hi, I'm David from DEB. The process for claiming wages through the Corona Job Retention Scheme for employees who are furloughed is very straightforward and only takes around five minutes per employee provided you have the information to hand. To find out what information you need please watch the video that we made yesterday which you will find on our YouTube channel. The process for claiming wages through the coronavirus job retention scheme for employees that you are furloughed is very straightforward. The first thing you will need to do is to log into your HMRC Gateway account. Type Claim Furlough Employer into Google and click on the first link Claim for Wages through the coronavirus job retention. Clicking the link will take you to this page. Scroll down the page until you find the section titled How to Claim and click on the green Claim Now button. This will take you to the Government Gateway sign-in screen. Hopefully you will already know your login details. If you don't, there are links at the bottom of the sign-in page to request your Gateway user ID and or password. It is likely that tomorrow we will do a video to show you how to obtain your Government Gateway sign-in. After logging into your Gateway account, you will be asked to enter a six-digit access code which will be text to your mobile phone. If you haven't set this up yet, the system will prompt you to enter the appropriate mobile phone number to receive the access code. When you have logged in you'll be taken to the business tax summary page. If you've already activated PAYE for employers on your gateway account you will have an option to access the service from the business tax summary page and can ignore the next few steps. If you haven't activated PAYE for employers yet you will need to click the link titled get online access to tax duty or scheme. On the next page select employer or intermediaries for example PAYE for employers or CIS. Then click the green continue button. On the following page select PAYE for employers and then click the green continue button. On the next page you will need your employer's PAYE reference and your account office reference. You will find both these references in your most recent payroll information folder on DEB Connect. In the first box enter the three numbers before the forward slash of your employer's PAYE reference. In the second box enter the letters and the numbers that appear after the slash in your employer's PAYE reference. And in the third box enter your accounts office reference. Then click the green request access button. The next page will confirm that you have access to PAYE for employers. If you return to your business tax summary page You'll see that PAYE for employers is a service that you can now access. Click on the hyperlink titled Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme and this will open the next page in a new tab or window. In the new tab you will arrive at this screen. Scroll down until you find the hyperlink titled Claim for Wages Online and click on this link. This will take you to this page titled Claim for Wages through the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. Scroll down the page to the How to Claim section, then click the green Claim Now button. This will take you to this screen. Carefully read the information which indicates that HMRC may refuse or recover the furlough payments if they consider them to be fraudulent or abusive. Then click the green Accept and Continue button. You need to read the next page and then select Yes. Then click the green Continue button. 
On the next page, select Yes to confirm that the full amount claimed will be paid to the employees. Then click the green Continue button. From this point on, this video will assume that your business is a limited company. If you are operating as a sole trader or partnership, you will need to select No. If the business is a limited company, then select Yes. Then click the green Continue button to proceed. On this page, you need to enter the company's 10 digit Unique Tax Reference or UTR. You will be able to find this on the top of your most recent corporation tax return in the corporation tax documents folder in your Deb Connect inbox. If you are unable to find this, then contact Lisa, who will be able to provide you with this. After entering the UTR, click on the green Continue button to proceed. On the next page, enter the name of your limited company, then click the green Continue button. Read the information regarding to the claim period and click the green Continue button to continue. On this page, you will be able to enter the start and end date of the period you are making the claim for. As the minimum claim period is three weeks, you will need to claim for both March and April as a single claim if you started the furlough period in mid-March. We've processed a claim this morning up to the end of April which went through fine. We don't know if the system will allow you to claim in advance for May 2020 and would suggest that you make a separate claim for May 2020 next month. After entering the relevant dates, click the green Continue button. On the next screen, enter the number of employees that you are claiming for. Then click the green Continue button to proceed. On the next page, you will need to enter the amounts that you are claiming. In the first box, you will need to enter 80% of the total gross wage payments for all the employees that you are claiming for. This is arguably the trickiest part of this process and we would recommend that you keep a copy of your workings in case you are required to substantiate your claim by HMRC at a later date. If you are claiming for part of the month of March, you will need to find an appropriate method for apportioning the March wage based upon the number of days that the employee was furloughed for. This could be based on the number of working days in the month, for example. If there are 23 working days in the month and the employee was furloughed for 8 of those, you will claim 80% of 8 23rds of the relevant month's gross wage for that month. The monthly wage amount needs to be either the average monthly wage paid over the last 12 months or the corresponding monthly wage paid for the same month last year if that was higher than the average. If the employer only started working for you six months ago, you would use the average over six months. If you've notified Alex about the furlough period, you may find that the furlough pay has been calculated and is specified on the employee's wage slip. You'll then need to calculate 80% of the employer's national insurance contributions. The employer's national insurance contributions is 13.8% of the gross furlough pay that you have just calculated. This can be calculated by multiplying the figure you have entered in the first box by 0.138. You will then be able to claim for 80% of the employer's pension contribution relating to the furlough claim period. Again, if this is for a part month in March, use the same basis of apportioning you have used when calculating the gross furlough wage. When you get to this page you can breathe a sigh of relief because the difficult part's over. On this page you will be able to check that the amounts that you have entered on the previous page appear correct. Then click the green continue button. On the next page you will need to enter the name and national insurance number for each of the employees you are claiming for. The national insurance number can be obtained from the employee's payslips. 
After entering the name and national insurance number of the employee, click the green continue button to move on to the next employee. When you have entered all the employees names and national insurance numbers, you will need to check the employees details. Then click the green continue button. You will then reach a page showing the name of the employees added. Then click the green continue button. On the next page you will need to specify the type of bank account that you want the claim amount to be paid into. This should be the business bank account unless you are using a personal bank account for your business banking. This is something that at DB we strongly suggest you don't do. Then click the green continue button. On the next page enter the sort code and account number of your business bank account then click the green continue button. On this screen you will need to enter the postcode of the address that your business account is registered to. This might be either your work or home address. You will also need to enter the property or house number in the second box. Then click the green continue button. On this page you will need to confirm the address of the property associated with this business bank account. If the address is correct, click Confirm Address button to proceed. If it's not the correct address, you will need to click the Search Again link and re-enter the address details until you are happy that the address is correct before proceeding. On this page, you will need to enter the name and contact telephone number of the person who should be contacted regarding any enquiries HMRC may wish to make. By the time you've reached this page, the process is almost complete. This is a final opportunity to check the information that you have previously entered before submitting your claim. At the bottom of the page you will need to read the declaration before clicking the green confirm to submit button to confirm your acceptance of the declaration and submit your claim. If you have got to this page give yourself a pat on the back because your claim has been submitted. Assuming you are eligible, you should receive the payment in six working days. Please note that there is a reminder that HMRC may refuse your payment if they consider it to be incorrect or fraudulent. Lastly, there is a reminder that you should keep a copy of the claim reference and copy of your calculations. You are also instructed to tell your employees that the claim has been made. So, congratulations, you successfully completed your first furlough claim and by the next time you do it you will probably be an expert. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to ensure that you obtain notification whenever we update a new video blog. Please also share this with anyone else that you may know on your social media so that you can help them. That's all for this video blog. Keep well and keep safe. Bye for now.